gives you infinite prayer. With this setup, I physically cannot run out of prayer. It's not possible. If I'm clicking stuff and not just like AFK with prayer on, it's impossible to run out of prayer. Which is exactly why we don't need anything for SGS or anything else like that. You would have to intentionally run out of prayer, which is quite difficult. Personally value things going wrong during the wave, how to fix them? Yep. Last week I had a couple of like really easy runs and that's just like how it is. So... Yeah. Alright. So early wave's gonna go back on the pillar, drop a couple of brews to make some space or restores. And we should gonna do one barrage and maybe just stop here and kill the bat to begin with. This is the bat safe spot from this side, it makes it nice and easy. And for the nibblers we're gonna go and clean them up with blowpipe. Blowpipe cleanups are a lot faster than magic, make life very easy. We don't need the shield for now, I'm going to put it to the side. I put on my gear and do one barrage and then solve the wave. All I'm doing is I'm starting fairly close to the north pillar and not much else. One hit for the niblet. And let's run a little bit back to the bat safe spot, but we're not going to shy away from NPCs like this at this level, because they're very low level. Uh, praying range alone is good enough to deal with them and completely fine. If you want to flick rigor, be my guest, but it's not needed. Helps a little bit, but that's all. You can also one tick your prayers. For these nibblers, we're going to come fairly close to the center. Don't need augury. And just try and get the middle one. 251, good nice kill. So we're going to go kind of on the pillar, somewhere near the pillar. Range prey. And for blobs, we're just going to flick like every now and then. And when this hits me, I'm going to try and flick back. And it'll be about right. You don't have to do it very precisely at all. If you're close range, you've got to wait a little second. So you wait a bit, and then you flick. And that's all there is to it. Mini blobs, we pray mage, we come close and we ice barrage. If I'm low HP, I'll blood barrage. If there's two alive, I'll try to send another one. If there's like a really big XP drop, then I'll switch to blowpipe. Well, uh, depends on where the blob is. For some of the setups on the pillar, we're going to use specific setups. For some of the setups elsewhere, we're going to actually go up to them and stand next to them. I'm going to kill the bat first because the nibbler is frozen. And then we're going to work on the nibbler. This is one of the first setups for the blob on the pillar. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to kill it from the north side. And we're going to step into it when it dies. If it dies now, we step in, pray mage, switch to our gear and barrage the middle one. It's a big XP drop, so I switch to my other gear. And we're going to kill the major first and then pray against the last one accordingly. So a lot of the way we deal with blobs is in procedure and we just stick to it all the time. One barrage, let's start flicking the blob. I'm going to go to the bat safe spot and hit this other set of nibblers. And I'm waiting to just flick the blob, focusing the blob because it's the largest NPC. The attack hits me, I switch my prayers. The attack hits me, I switch my prayers. The attack hits me, I switch my prayers. And that's how you deal with blobs from range. It's really easy, no timing, barely anything to do. Maybe I'll bow for it from afar, because it'll be kind of fun. We'll go towards it. From close range, I wait a tick or two, and then I switch my prayers. So I wait a bit, and then I switch. We go in close to it, barrage, and uh, click it. Two alive, I'll send one more, and then I'll switch immediately to my other gear. It's a melee, and uh, I'm gonna throw in a phantom because I can. Phantoming not too useful for first capes, but. So back on the pillar, one barrage, and let's go behind north pillar because everything is far south and we want to bring it in. If the nibblers were not 152 and they were still alive, then we let them go to the pillar and we ignore south pillar. Doesn't, doesn't, no useful at all. Two blobs, same deal. Switch prayers, not much to it. Let it hit you and then switch after a tick or two. And now we stand still, and I'm flicking the black blob, the back blob. It's a small barrage, so I'll do another one. And then I'll switch to my uh, range here to clean up. And I'm just flicking the blob. The minis don't really matter. Now I'm going to run behind the pillar, still flicking the blob and let it drag in. If in doubt, let it drag. So for this, I want to get some more HP. We're going to do the most useful technique for a learner there is possible. We call the blob, flicking it, and we go all the way back, praying range. By staying in this area, oh, let me uh, join a party as well. By staying on these tiles, any of these tiles, they will be set up in a fashion where you just have to pray range. And to deal with it, what we're going to do is switch it to our mage here. You can do take us if you want to. You can put an augury if you really want to. And then we're going to blood barrage twice in a row manually. This is a phantom barrage. And it will get a second hit. Now it's the major alive, so we instantly pray mage. And then back on it. And that will give you about 40 HP per blob, which is crazy. Two blobs means it's going to be nibblers. Let's come up and ice barrage the center. That's fine. Another ice barrage for the one is okay. And then let's go back on these two with another ice barrage. And then clean up with pipe. In doubt, if in doubt, clean up with pipe. 
Now it's a melee, and it's only a melee, so I can be wherever I want to and just pray melee. One barrage, and because, again, there's nothing to really solve, I can clean this guy up, and then work on the melee. Both is fine against it. Uh, I'm just gonna flick, basically. That's all. Don't shy away from NPCs like this. Get the practice in flicking. Don't just run behind pillar every wave. Be, be a bit more confident with things. Starting roughly on pillar, one barrage, and they're coming towards me. Because I'm on north pillar, it's very easy to protect. Now on this side, I can come to the bat safe spot and just work with the melee. I could also just kill the bat, it doesn't really matter. This is a fairly nice uh, slow but consistent run. Just gonna be flicking the melee. Hang on the bat. Flick some rigor instead, speed it up. Back into our gear. These two tiles are good start tiles. This one is the one if you're feeling not so safe. One barrage, and then let's figure out what's going on. The melee gets stuck here, and I can even be out here if I want to. Um, now I'm going to pray melee and get into the range of this guy. And from here I can think I can even barrage that. It's just a melee on me, so I'm in range. Holy trippy. So no rush to get the nibblers. If you want to, with this kind of melee, you can walk across left and right like this. And he will follow you and the bat will be behind you. So you can get closer to the pillar by walking, but you cannot run. It's a nice little technique. Um, helps a little bit every now and then. So we're getting to about 60 prey. I'm going to use a dose. I'm going to come back on the pillar. One barrage, 151 is dead. That melee, just to prove the point, if you're here, the only, sp the only spawns from melee that get to you are the one that's here and the one that's here. Any other spawn like this ends up stuck on pillar. So actually, standing still, like here or here, is a very good way to start these early waves. And if you react quickly and you react in a rushed fashion, you're going to cause yourself problems. So just stand still. Now, for this blob, we've done it before already. We're going to deal with it, and then we're going to go and stand next to it when it dies. Switch to our gear, one barrage in the center, and then back into our other gear. It's okay if we take a little bit of damage here, but we can always peel up if we have to. So blob procedure we're still going to work on. One barrage and then have a think. Maybe one more. Pray melee. Shouldn't really go for nibblers like this, but I'm going to duck behind the pillar after I get one more in. And all we're doing is we're praying against the biggest H the biggest NPC, which is the melee. I'm not very really, I'm not very really afraid right now of taking like one blob hit because you can get it back easily. Um, and I'll take a bit of damage here just to like showcase that you can get it back easily. Or I'll try to take some damage. Okay, so we're 70 HP. Let the blob pull in, and we're going to kill it the same way as before. We come all the way back, staying on this line here. Take our gear off if you want to, augury on. 73 HP, click once, click twice immediately. 94 HP, one alive, go for 99. 97. So you can see how easy it is to get HP. One barrage, and let's duck behind North Pillar, because there's a lot of stuff on the south side. We're going to kill this bat because it's like right here. And uh, for what it's worth, I think I can reach that with a bofa, so I'm just going to go and slap it. Now incidentally, this also lets the melee pull wire, and this is a safe spot. You can drag melees down the pillar by going here, and even one more if you want to. This is all safe. You can also gain control of a melee by stepping in on it. Now we're going to go to the bat safe spot, and flick the blob. When the bat dies, I can go for the nibbler, I'm going to bow for it. 53 HP is 10 HP, so that's dead. And now we're going to come back and set this blob up as we have done for the other ones. All the same. Very consistent, very nice. Into my gear, barrage. It takes a second when it's scuffed like that. 145 for me means that there's two alive. I'm going to pray mage for the major, because this one is always the trouble one, and you don't want to get hit like an 18 at the end of a wave. Let me go back. One barrage, and I'm just going to flick this blob and have a think. Let's go behind the pillar to let the other blob pull in, and I'm still going to flick this guy. Okay, so this guy's still on me. I want to pull the melee round. I'm flicking the blob. What you can do is you can take a step out and a step in. Flicking the blob. And now the melee's here. So all we're doing is we're just coming out to let him round the pillar, and then we're going straight back. And again, this is a safe spot on this side of the pillar. We can come round. No problem. Just flicking the blob. Now I want that blob to come closer, so let's kill this guy instead. When he dies, I stand next to him and I move up into him. Into my mage gear. 
One attack. If you want to put the crystal shield on, be my guest. It's just another switch. Pray accordingly. And then uh, let's uh, go after this nibbler. Just pray against the blob, no rush. This blobby over here can be set up from this side here on the south side, but not the north side. So you have to orientate correctly and uh, move over. Let's use another of those to restore. Now for this, if you want to phantom it, you got to come way back and you can attack it from here. So I can even ice barrage into a, a, a blood barrage if I want to. And there's two alive, so I can do one more for 99 HP. Nearly there, one more. 98 HP, let's finish it with bullet pipe, no reason to waste prayer. And he's dead. And all I'm doing is I'm just camping my prayers. Now there's two melees here, so we can be brave. Let's step up and let's uh, pray melee and go after these guys. No afraid here. Just click boss. No reason to be afraid. No flicking, no nothing, hands off. Inferno should not be a, a flick heavy thing. It should be kind of chill if you know what you're doing. Maybe a couple of flicks here and there once you're ready. That's about it. The blob reads your prayer and then attacks with the opposite one. So, just in the center, that's completely fine. Ice barrage one time. And then uh, we're going to switch the blowpipe to clean up, get the one that's going to the pillar first so it dies. And you can see after a, like, what is it? 17 waves, our north pillar is practically untouched and the west pillar took a bit of damage. Now this one is only a ranger, so we just pray range and again we're fine. And let's uh, finish with blowpipe again, try and kill this guy. And we can move towards the ranger, there's no danger, it's just a ranger. We're going to sit here and flip. You don't have to flick at all. I, I could count my prayers for the entire run, I have enough prayer. I could not turn my prayer off and be able to com uh, complete this run. One barrage, and you know what, it's just a bat, so let's kill the bat, let's get rid of it. And then let's finish these guys with a blowpipe. And let's go after the ranger. It's all ranged stuff, so there's no reason to hide behind pillars. Let's just go after it. I'll flick a little bit, because realistically anyone who's like doing this wants to have a bit more prayer left over in case they make mistakes and stuff, but like, it's not flick heavy. Back into our gear, range spraying. One thing and then let's have a thing. Everything is range in the waves, so let's go kill stuff. Onto the bat first. Nibbler's stuck, so we maybe kill him and then just keep moving up. This is a good time to practice your blowpipe walking. You can run up and do it on NPCs, you can do it on the ranger like this. This is the same as what you have to do on healers. So if you've got a bit of spare time to fuck around and practice, you can do it. Now on Bofa runs, because I have a, a Bofa, obviously I can uh, I can grab bats from afar if I have to, which is very nice. Okay, let's back up a little bit here. One barrage, and uh, let's just chill. Let's just have a think. The blob is safe spotted, the ranger's coming, let's send another barrage. Switch to my tank gear, and uh, let's kill the blob because we want to pull that guy in. We move into the blob, pray mage, switch to our gear and barrage the middle one, switch to our tank gear and clean up. 152 means the major is usually alive, so let's kill him. And then let's attack, and then switch our prayer coming around the corner. One tick flicking like this is really nice. Rigger helps as well. Tick lossless prayer flicking. Bit more damage. Prayer save, very nice. Great, let's sip another dose. And uh, same again. One barrage. Let's just sit still. Let's send another barrage because uh, it's only a blob up there. And now we can run back. Taking a hit or two from the blob is no big deal. Gives me an opportunity to showcase how to get some HP back. Okay, we pray against the blob and we kill the bat. I'm gonna take another blob hitter on purpose. Hopefully it hits me. Sad. So, kill this, stand back, 
Switch strike game. If you want to do takeoffs, you can just play range and you're chilling. Two barrages. Maybe you click a bit of augury on the second one. And then pray mage for the major since it's alive. 99 HP, no problem. <clears throat> Waves in crystal top? Yeah, I guess. One barrage, everything is north, let's go behind the pillar. If we take a blob it, it's no biggie. I mean, I'll definitely start 50s in it, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so when you have a blob and a ranger alive, both of them are good targets to blood barrage at the end of a run, but a ranger is like an easier target. That being said, a blob is like a better target um, early on, I would say, because it's a bit more controllable and it's a bit like uh, quicker to get HP back, whereas a ranger is a bit slower. So if you're on lower waves, I'd kill the ranger first, and if you're on higher waves, I'd kill the blob first. There's no chance of a major spawning from a ranger and fucking you up, whereas there is from a blobby. Now we're not going to rush this, we're going to let it pull in, praying before it gets here, and then attacking. When it starts to stop, we can, put, we can switch up in. We're 99, so there's no need to go back here, we can just chill where we are. Stay still, pray range. Send the barrage. Done. Same again. Click. Okay, let's run over here. Let's isolate everything. Just run and isolate everything. Now I can focus on flicking this blob. And now I'm going to do my first little bit of one-take alternation. So we come out here praying range. And we start alternating on the next cycle to keep things simple. It doesn't matter about that pillar getting destroyed. It's completely fine if it goes down. After the range is dead, I can go for them. We keep alternating until the blob attacks us. And then we can come out. And then we can start flicking a bit slower. And we can go for these guys. 152 means it's dead. And now we come back. This blob isn't close enough, so I'm going to go for this guy instead. And start flicking this guy. We're going to step into him. And because we're low HP, it's Blood Barrage time. 151 means we switch. Bit of rigor to finish off, maybe. And then rinse and repeat over here. This time I'm going to barrage it, so I'm going to step back. Two phantoms. Or oh, one phantom. 91 HP. Augury for the next hit, 99 HP, and we're chill. For these melee waves, a lot of the time we just stand still. Like right now, we just assess and then stand still. Instead of getting pulled out with blood pipe, I can just bow for this, no problem. And then I wait for the melee to drag fully in and then I can click him. <clears throat> no reason to rush this. If I want to, I can come in and take a hit and then back out. Good practice to do so to keep control of the melee. And then onto the ranger. My prayer is getting low, so let's sip. And let's take another, re uh, another dose of this pile. One barrage. Great, it's coming towards North Pillar. Let's bow for this, actually. Make oh, well, I mean, I can barrage it, I guess. And as you can see, if I stand completely still, the wave solves itself. There's very little to. There's very little need to rush this or like get ahead of yourself. Don't run away. Don't do any weird movements. Just stay still. Inferno solves itself most of the time. Now that the melee is dead, it's only a bat when it dies. There's only a bat alive and a ranger, so I can just go and click them. No need to be scared. Bit laggy today. Just go click them. What wall am I on? I'm on five or two. Okay. As far as stamina goes, if I ever get low, I can use a couple of doses. You only need one for Zuck, really. One barrage. Okay, and I just stand still. There's a bat coming, so I'll just maybe go for another barrage, see if I kill it. And I want to pull stuff in, so let's go around the pillar. I can use my nice little trick I showcased earlier to get the melee to come around by taking a step out and then in. And now I can hit the melee. After praying melee, I can go in and uh, take some hits. This will keep him in place. Instead of digging and wasting our time. Now let's play range, kill the ranger, and do it from this side, it's just a ranger. Maybe we kill the bat behind it. Doesn't really matter what you kill. 
Background we go. Notice my camera angle is like nice and wide, I can see everything. Let's just pause and have a think about this. Let's kill the ranger, the melee is stuck, and let's alternate. Now I need to think about what happens if the melee digs. I'm getting a bit low, so I'm probably going to run behind North Pillar if it does. I'm going to keep flicking, even after the ranger dies, until the blob attacks, and now I'm going to stop. And then I'll flick the blob, like, slowly again. Let's come around the pillar, see if the melee gets on me. It does not. And there's probably one more blob attack coming, which is fine. Now let's pray melee and just don't do anything, let it wiggle out. If you attack it, it's gonna fuck you up. I can take a step up to the pillar, right-clicking, maybe that helps. It does, okay, great. So a really simple solution, not overcomplicating things, not moving randomly, just going and wanting alternating. If you want to be safer, you can brew. If you want to be safer, you can use rigor, you can use blowpipe specs. But if you think you're in control, don't waste resources. Pipe specs, brews, rigor, prayer, these are all resources you don't have to waste if you don't think you need them. But if you have to survive, then do it. Let's come back, do some takeoffs, put some augury on and phantom twice. Another mage is alive, so we pray mage. Yeah, and then 92 HP. Mean pizza with those arms. Downgrading mage gear, practically no difference. One barrage, and then let's have a think. Let's kill the bat and put on rigor, because I'm getting hit by some stuff. I'm going to kill this nibbler, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind North Pillar. Notice I wasn't flicking the blob at all. I just put on rigor for some more defense, and then ran. Good. Hello, Path. Thank you for the 14 months. Get the cape? Yes, sir. I took a Zuck hit last time, which was not very smart. Right. So simple solves, nothing crazy, and what we're going to do here is kill the ranger first. And just alternate. If you want to pray ranger and take one blob hit while you set up the alternation, that's fine as well. And if you're kind of low, you can just blob barrage and do this. Or you can kill the blob, it doesn't really matter. Again, these waves are fairly simplistic. You have to be confident in one tick alternating. We're going to wait for the blob to attack, and then we move back, and then we flick again. Sometimes it's needed, sometimes it's not. Let's use a dose of restore. And let's go all the way back to get some more HP. Two phantoms. Or oh, one phantom again. Augury on the second one is nice. I'm 99, so let's switch to blowpipe. Pray mage for this guy before he comes around the pillar, otherwise I'll take some damage at the end of the wave. Take a step up. One barrage, and this guy is gonna get to me, so let's go behind the pillar to isolate stuff. You let's pray melee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand around. on this corner here. And the reason is this blob is now stuck on the corner. So doing this on either side is really useful. You can do it on these two tiles and these two tiles. But by doing this, I'm isolating the blob, which is really, really, really nice. There's a nibbler over there, and I can't quite get to it, but I'm gonna ignore it entirely. I'm gonna pray mage for the blob, and then range, and then come around. Now I don't have to worry about the blob, and I've got two range NPCs I can deal with, and I can go and maybe bow for the nibbler, for example, until it dies. Bit of rigor to make sure it dies. We don't care too much about this pillar, but we don't want to lose pillars like super, super early if we can avoid it. If you're doing your cape runs and you're getting really far into the runs or Zuck, you can definitely chase nibblers a bit more, because you're going to know your thresholds better, but if you're learning, don't do it. Now, we know that for this blob we got to kill it and then step in. Very mage, switch your gear, barrage the middle one. 152, switch your gear, kill the major. One barrage, this melee will get to us, let's go behind the pillar, and we go straight here. Which, fantastically, blocks this blob. So if you get to this tile fast enough, in a lot of cases it will safe spot whatever's here, like that. If you do it too slowly, then you have to deal with both of these guys. To deal with both of them, let's say I was dealing with it, I would just pray melee and maybe flick rigor. Maybe even camp rigor, until it dies. There's nothing complex about this, don't overcomplicate it. Now to get to the nibbler, let's step out and uh, pray against this guy. Now we can kill him. More restore. 
Free range, barrage. It's a good XP drop. Let's go around the pillar. Kill this guy. He's frozen, so I don't want to mess with him right now. We step in. One barrage. It's a small barrage. Let's try again. Okay, the middle one died, so I'm going to go and get my gear on and uh, kill it. And then I'm going to take a step back. Pray melee in case it comes to me. And deal with it. There's still a mage blob here, so I'm just going to pray mage. And then after it dies, go for the ranger. Don't be afraid. This is a really nice two tick flick you can do. Right. Let out, thank you for the prime. We do one barrage, and then what we're going to do for these two melees is come over this side. I haven't shown this in this run yet, but it's really nice, and you can safe spot both of them from this side of the pillar. You can't do it on this side, you just get hit, but you can do it over here. There's an even better thing you can do with a bofa. If you stand on this tile here on the very edge, you can even reach this. You can barrage it, and you can bofa it. It's lovely, lovely, lovely little thing you know. If you, uh, if you know it, you can do it all the time. So you have to have the melee right on the corner of the pillar. After he digs, I need to wait to uh, safe spot him. I'm going to use the ranger, because the ranger is a pillar. And all NPCs are pillars that we can use. You can even demonstrate this idea by coming around and bringing the melee around. And as you see, you can come down this as if it was a pillar in exactly the same way. So you can apply the same principles that you use to pillars to use on NPCs. Which means, actually, when you're doing an Inferno run, you don't just have three pillars, you have like five pillars at any given time. So, makes life very easy. NPCs are fantastic pillars. Right, one barrage. Uh, two rangers. Oh, well I don't have to do much, I can go after the nibblers. Let's go for them. Hopefully I kill them. Great. So I want a major without like any supply usage other than a couple of restore doses. These are the simple waves, so nice and easy. Major begins to make stuff interesting, and we will be both throwing it. And again, we're not being afraid. Simple, simple waves. Just praying range, we can come out and attack. Sip our restore as intended, as needed. And uh, now it's onto the major waves after the mini blobs, or after the nibblers. One barrage. Have a little think, maybe switch to blowpipe if it's a big XP drop. And again, we just stay in the center. It's, you know, it's just a major. Spray mage. One barrage, switch to blowpipe. Make sure it dies and then go on the major. Piping him is not even that bad. You can just pipe him to death. But obviously we have a bofa, so we'll try use it. Click your prayers however you like. Both are very accurate. If you want to switch your quick prayers at this time, you can do. I don't like to do it personally. I just like to flick normally. Oh, make sure you fray against it even if you think it's dead. And we start back on the pillow. Frame mage. One barrage and have a little think. Switch to your tank gear. And I'm just going to try and bow for the bat from long range to not take excess damage. This here is actually a bat safe spot from that side, so even better. And then back on Mr. Major. I think pray range for a little bit and maybe blow pipe him to try kill him. And then back on Mage. Would Max here be better if you have one or stick to the assembler? It depends what you have. If you are not using Ring of the Gods, Maxcape is good. If you are using Ring of the Gods, Maxcape is not useful. You're probably better off with an assembler if you have Ring of the Gods on, and I do recommend it. Back on the pillar, replace our weapon area. One barrage. And I'm going to go behind North Pillar this time. 
I'm gonna get my bofer out and try and kill this bat, pray range for it. Gotta be careful not to get dragged too much. And what I can do to get this nibbler is run all the way back here, and I can both for it from this position, or I can barrage it. So this tile here allows you to access there, which is really nice. Taking a step forwards means I have a bit more access to this guy, so I can get him as well. Great. Now, instead of killing the bat, let's go to the nibbler safe spot and kill the major. No need to kill the bats if we can avoid it. They'll just get respawned anyway, save us some time. Light bearer if no ring of the gods. Use suffering if no ring of the gods. Light bearer is absolute dog shit, I'm afraid. Got what you have aside from B gloves ancient scepter? I'm using them braces, but B gloves are fine. Oh, you mean from B gloves? Yeah, that's fine. It barely changes anything. A major respawn cycle doesn't change the attack cycle, so you just keep going. You can one tick alternate it, you can two tick it, you just keep going. And we make sure to flick one cycle even after it dies so we don't get messed up. And then both is fine against bats really, so... Right, one barrage, solve the wave. Stand still. Click the ground to make sure you don't get dragged out. And uh, he's safe spotted, so the wave is over. And again, a whole lot of waves can be solved like this. Uh, I think I might have missed it, but Lemao, thank you for the prime as well. Many, many thanks. If you want to speed this up, you can flick some rigor. You can put it on quick prayers as well, if you want. RCB and MSP, completely doable, but difficult, yes. You can if you want to rush it, there's just not much reason to rush it. It's better to get both of first, it's very, very normal for an Iron Man to do that. Now the Major's dead, it becomes a nice simple wave solve. We go back over here, kill the Blob and step in. Decent barrage, switch your gear, kill the Major, step back for the melee and then pray melee even if it's frozen. One barrage, and let's go behind the pillar, there's a lot of stuff up there. I'm going to switch back to my tank gear, maybe both of the bat, and then go for range hit. I can pick up these restores as well now, which is nice. And, uh, oh, my pillar's gone. It doesn't matter, though, but it's gone. Unlucky. For this, we just want to alternate. So you can take a blob hit and then set it up. Do let, let it hit one cycle, and then start. Pegs are fine. These are the bounce. We do one more cycle until the blob starts attacking. And we will go behind the pillar and pray just in case. Now we're not like super low HP, so we don't have to go all the way back in Phantom It, we can just stand here. Switch our gear, one barrage, blood barrage. Switch into our defensive gear. Major usually lives there, so we uh, switch into Mage here and then go. If you got trouble with alternating, you just have to practice it. One barrage, and let's flick the blob because the Major's trapped. Let's go to our blowpipe and keep flicking the blob, maybe both of that. Try and get a bat hit in there. And all we're doing is we're flicking the blob still. Now I want to get to the Major, so let's flick the blob and then go for it. And try and alternate. Rigor on. Don't want to take more damage, so I put Rigor on. Get this kill done faster. Hello, Groot. I want to drag this blob in, so I'm going to stand over here, keep flicking the blob, and then end on range. Take Rigor off now. Done its job. 
Put the blob dragon, and now we want to get some HP back. So it's the same procedure this time. South side for this kind of guy. Step all the way back. Two phantoms. Maybe, uh, again, all re on the next one. Pretty mage. This guy should die as well. Great. All the way back. Mage sprint. Let's just think and uh, wait here for a second. There's a blob here anyway, so let's just click the major and alternate. I gotta deal with it anyway, so I may as well just sit still. Make life easy. I might upload it, I'm not sure yet. We keep alternating after it dies, the blob attacks, and now we can move. Go for this guy. Let, let, let the other one drag him, as always. I'm 88 HP, so I'm not gonna bother... Uh, well, I mean, I guess you could Ice Barrage here, or Blood Barrage, it doesn't really matter. Blood, 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 blood Barrage to top up. Blood, blood Barrage. Back on this side to kill this blob, make sure it's safe spotted properly, and uh, dose a restore. So far we've used up uh, two doses, sorry, two full ones and a bit more. And we're nearly halfway through. I'm gonna finish this with Blowpipe and Prey Mage because obviously oh, the melee's coming towards me, which is a bit bad, so maybe stepping back a bit is nice. Blub the large, yeah. Okay. Let's just stand still. So we know that this, this melee is gonna get stuck on the pillar unless it spawns over here, so we're chilling. And now from here, you take a step three out from the pillar, and you can attack the major. What we're going to do is we're going to step here and take control of the melee uh, after a little window of time. So you can't do it too early, but about now I can begin doing it. Let's get ready. And just back out. Nice and simple. You can orientate your camera like this if you want to. It can help. And learning to do this will up your timing, your confidence, and will keep control of the melee, because if it digs, it causes problems. So put simply, we're not going to let it dig. It resets dig timer. It gets you confident handling melees, flicking multiple NPCs. It's a really good thing to do. Now our blowpipe, and we step in. Take one more hit. Every few seconds. Nice and easy. And the idea is we're controlling the melee, we're not letting it dig by resetting its dig timer. You have to do it fairly frequently, but as long as there's only a few NPCs, it should be nice and easy. Barrage and just chill. Okay, the melee is stuck, the bat is going to get to me. Who cares about a bat? Let's barrage this again, and then step back. Maybe let's kill the bat and then both of that. Don't want to take too many hits from it. And now we go on the major. Same process as before, we're going to come up, and we're going to just take hits from the melee if required. What would I have done if he had dug? I would have run back here. The bat can see me, so let's step in a bit. Now that he digs, you can come around like this, as an example. Now we probably have to kill the melee, which is why it's not so good. Now there is a trick, if the major spawns up here, there are two spawns, one is here, one is here. If he spawns up here, we can stand over here, and it will drag him in. So watch the major. One, two tiles in, and now we can attack behind the pillar. We can, we can even attack from here. This is a really, really nice thing you have to do in later waves, it doesn't matter too much now, but it can be useful. Let's uh, use more restore. No melee respawn, which is nice. Let's kill the bat. We come up, switch our gear. In these harder waves, you can start using crystal body instead of ancestral top. One barrage, and then let's have a think. Well, let's let stuff drag in, so let's kill the bat. And let's just have a think, where does it go? Everything is behind the pillar, but this major is going to slide along the pillar, so let's come and kill it. If I stand here and stuff is like aligned with me, this NPC is going to slide down the pillar. If I stand here in the middle of the pillar, 
then it's going to actually drag a bit differently. Now the melee is going to dig, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a melee safe spot by standing here. You can do this by standing like one set of tiles away from this NPC, and then moving in. We're using this, uh, we're using this major as a pillar. It's the same as standing here and running back here, except we're going from here to here, or here to here. Just treat it as a pillar. You can also do the same from standing here and moving here, or standing here and moving here. You can trap it inside the NPC as well. So an NPC is more versatile than a pillar. Let's take some hits on the melee to control it. If you want to try and get some flicks in, that's great. And now, my pillar, my south pillar, I don't really care about it. There's bats in the way, so I'm going to actually kill the bats first so I can get to the pillar. Maybe I'll bow for this one that's a bit far away. And now we can go for the nibbler. Only after the entire wave is cleared do we go for this. I'm in party plugin, just to make it easier to highlight stuff. But you'll see you'll see that set up for melees a couple more times in these waves. So now we don't have to really use Ancestral Top as much. If you want to, it's very optional. One barrage. And just chill. Everything is coming to North Pillar, so let's stay still and just attack the Nibblers. We know the melee gets trapped here, and the melee will slide into position even if it looks like it won't. Now if I attack from here, I might get pulled, so let's take a step up. And even if I did get pulled, it would look something like this. If you, if you want to, you can test it, you can like get pulled and run back. And the melee can never get you here, and the blob can never get you here, and it looks terrifying, but it's fine. So if in doubt, test things. Now let's take a step from the melee and uh, take a hit. I'm a bit late. Now I have to figure out a way to deal with it. Let's go back here. This is the standard way. Now we flick the blob and kill the melee. So it shows if you have a plan and you it actually deal with the melee like early, it's going to help a lot. Those arms. We're just flicking the blob right now. The faster you take control of melees, the more consistent your runs and your waves are going to be. Back over towards the major, maybe try flick the blob. It's fine. But yeah, the more the more control you can get out of melees, the better runs are. That's the biggest, biggest thing. Now, if you want to set up a melee safe spot, we can stand here and move back in. The melee digs like this. And then it gets stuck on the major. It comes and gets stuck. You have to go here. I'll do it a few more times in the runs. I'll flick a little bit more. I don't need to flick a lot. I've barely been flicking, but we want to conserve some supplies. Okay, same blood procedure. We step in, pray mage, garage middle one, switch to our other gear, hit the major. We can even do a little phantom barrage on the melee. So once it dies, we can just cast barrage on it. You need to know your XPs, but it will give you a little bit of HP. One barrage, and let's just chill and flick the blob because this guy is safe spotted. Let's kill this nibbler on the pillar while flicking the blob, and then kill the bat. All I'm doing is flicking the blob, not the bat. Now we go after the nibbler, still flicking the blob. And I want to control the melee, so let's have a think about this before we do anything. If I stand here and attack the major, I can move here when the melee digs. So I'm formulating a plan before I go after it. Let's wait to do a cycle. Now we get in cycle, now we move, pray mage, and now we begin again. That's just a blob hit, that's fine. If the melee digs, I'm going to go around the other side where he is now. Let's put rigor on, speed things up. And we keep flicking the blob, blob ending is done. I can uh, go back around this side now, which is completely safe as well. Take a step out, kill the melee, click the blob. So the idea for this wave was we set up an idea to deal with the melee before it was ever a problem. If I just went and attacked the major and started alternating, I have more issues on my hands. If I take a second to think about how I trap a melee, suddenly there's no problem with the wave at all. Now I do want this blob to uh, pull in, so I'm going to come around this side. Melee digs again, I can just stand up here, this is fine. So we're trying to test out new melee digs, or learn new melee digs, and that's great. Bit of damage from the blob. Ooh. Let's go back around now. 
Melee dig prep is the most important thing for sure. I'm going to burn one blowpipe spec with the rigor to try and get a bit more HP. Great. Turn rigor off and uh, flick the blob, come all the way back. Very range, take my gear off. Orgreon, one barrage, two barrage, maybe even three at this rate. Great mage. 99 HP. Gear on. Augury off. First barrage. Uh, okay, let's just chill and maybe go around the side of the pillar. Let's drag everything in from that side. This melee will get to us, so let's pray melee. Now, I think to simplify things here, I will simply kill the melee. I could move around any to, to any of these tiles and I would be fine. The melee would be safe spotted. But uh, killing it's probably okay as well. I just want to get rid of it. I could also get it very low and then go for the major. So let's pot up. Go around with the rigor on. And begin alternating. If the melee digs, I can just kill it now. I prepared the melee. There's other places I can run to, like north of the blob. Let's flick the blob. Take a step out. The melee might dig, but that's okay. Probably digs like now. Yeah, we're just about got it. Let's kill this blob and then stand next to it, because it's come around the pillar. And then we can uh, do a blood barrage for some HP. Switch to our tank gear, back on the major, bit of rigor, try and kill it off. I'm going to keep these bats alive and go for the niblet. We pray range, and I just want to get some hits off with a uh, phantom. Because I'm a bit low HP for these kind of waves. Nothing too crazy, but it's meant to be a nice first kick run. Back to bat safe spot, don't worry about the run drain. And uh, I think I'll just barrage the second bat to get a little bit higher. If you're feeling unsafe, get more HP. And when you hit Ranger Major, you want to be full HP at every wave start. So we got 88, that's fine. I'm going to start with Crystal Body on. Bit more defense. One barrage, and let's duck behind the pillar. There's so much stuff over that way. And now I pray against this guy. Now, I don't want to kill him just yet. Let's go for the... Uh, okay, if I stand here, the melee is going to come round. If I stand in the middle, it won't do that. But it's a bit late now. Let's go for this guy and kill him off. Eldritch is awful. And what we can do is we can come out after we flick this blob and uh, kill the major with Rigo. Let's take a step here to prepare the melee and then start flicking. I can take a Rigo off as well. Ignore the melee, keep flicking. Ignore the respawn. And keep flicking the blob. Okay, now we can kill the melee, perhaps. I want to go for that nibbler eventually, so a bit of bofa work is fine here. Now we go for this guy. Try and pray for both blobs if you can do. Great. Now we go back on this guy. Use more prayer. Got infinite prayer. And uh, Blood Barrage here, staying still. Back into our proper gear, Pray Mage here. Kill this guy from this north side, and then step in. If you can get the shield on, you should get the shield on, but it doesn't really matter too much. And then finish up here with Blowpipe. Next wave, because we've got two blobs, it collapses into a double melee, which is very easy, so we don't have to worry about HP. In fact, I can Blood Barrage here. One Blood Barrage. I'll go for another one. I'll step up, actually, for it. And then we'll come back. we got two melees. We want to drag the Major in, so let's go attack this guy and play melee. I'm going to bring this guy in as much as I can. I'm going to try not to kill it, though. What the heck? Am I out of darts or something? Oh, okay. He's corner trapped, though. If I move here again, he steps further in. Now we can go after this fella. 
Don't be afraid to move out like this, it's completely fine. I'm gonna go for a cheeky uh, a cheeky hit on this guy. And we can use the pillar or the major as a safe spot. We can either go here, which is the same thing as standing here, if the major was a pillar. Like this area here is the same as this area here. Let's not be too worried. Now we just run. Simple as. One hit's not a problem. You can pray melee during that because the major can't attack you. No biggie. Plenty of NPCs to heal up on. Melee digs! Let's go over this way. This is a 2x2 two two gap, it can't fit through here. If it was 3x3 three three, it still can't fit, so this is a nice way to like gauge whether you can go there. Pray melee. When you're starting these waves, we now start without Ancestral Top and we use our shield all the time. <clears throat> use more prey, don't worry about it. Step in, put our tank gear on now. Mage Prey, Augury if you have excess prayer is okay, but not too necessary. One barrage and stand still. Assess what's happening and then kill the Major in this place. This is like one of the freest waves you can get. I had a lot of these last time I did this actually, made my life very easy. And let's flick a little bit. Nice easy waves. You don't have to do a lot of flicking, but a little bit's good. HP, no worries. Tank gear on, one barrage and click the ground. We actually want South Pillar to fall now, it will help us a bit. One barrage, click the ground. Mage is down there, so I pray range. I let him dragon in. We come round, pray mage. Attack the Nibbler, continue with our room. Nice and simple. These waves should be uh, no difficulty to anybody. Just safe spot one large NPC or pray accordingly. Ignore the respawn, just keep flicking. Kill the bat. Very range, maybe come to, come to bat safe spot if you want. It's all good. And we can make our life even easier by going to our start tile before we do anything else. So if you can end a wave on a start tile, it's really nice. Tank gear, mage brain, one barrage, click the ground, salt the wave. Prey range. But that's why we click the ground, is because if it goes south, you end up getting dragged out. And uh, we really actually want our south pillar to go down, because now we don't get dragged out, and NPCs don't path around south pillar and see you here. So previously, when south pillar was alive, if I was standing here, a major could drag around and see me, but now that can't happen. So it makes my life a lot easier. Now, I don't really want to kill the ranger, so what I can do, I can either stand here and, te uh, and bow for the major and flick the two of them, or I can stand here, kill the bats, and then hit it. I'm going to go for the slightly better option, which is going to be uh, to uh, flick them. If you can do this, do it. If you can't, kill the bats. Two options. Thank <laughs> you. 
Off tick practice is really good. It's a very big skill to learn. Now we can kill whatever we want to kill. I will uh, barrage this bat just a little bit to get some more HP because I'm kind of low. And I really want to be 99 on these waves, which I am now. That's good. Let's go back. Tank gear on. Sip a restore. One barrage. Click the ground. And now the, this major can't see me because there's no pillar in the way. Let's go around the pillar, pray mage, and deal with this nibbler and then the major. 94 kind of low. Well, I, I would still get to 99, yeah. Every little helps. Let me know any tips. Yeah, how do I kill Zuck? If I keep hitting zeros. Uh, I may put the run on YouTube, depends. Hey, Brew? Oh. Do I recommend Metronome? No, not really. You know what the best metronome in, this, in the game is? My blowpipe. Put my game sounds up. I can hear stuff. This blobby, I'm going to stand next to him. I've got a two-tick metronome here. It's beautiful. One more barrage just in case. Great. Tank gear on. Stand still. And pray range, because it's only the ranger on me. Go for the bat. Maybe uh, just kill it. It's just a bat. And now, of course, we can come around on this side to isolate the ranger and alternate these guys. If you're capable, you can even do lossless alternation, which is really nice. Which is this. Flicking the blob until it attacks, and then we move. Pray accordingly for the next NPC. Bat safe spot. Pray whatever. Flick the bat. Oh, flick the blob, sorry. Move back, let the blob drag in. Stand the kill procedure. Maybe one more barrage. Into blowpipe, into tank gear. One barrage and stand still. Bye bye! And then uh, onto this bat. Everything is stuck on the pillar, so we're chilling. And now everything is stuck so I can move back while I'm dealing with the bat. Keep right clicking it to be sure. And I'm going to bow for this nibbler to get rid of it. And I'll do the same for this guy over here. If you're unsure, just pray something so you don't like get dragged out and hit for some big damage. Just pray something. And now we have a first like proper stack of the run. So what we do for stacks is we wiggle. And wiggling will drag NPCs in and around. Um, I think if I... There's actually a nice way to solve this, but... For this one, because like if you stand here, you can clearly see they're all lined up. You can't go this way. If I go this way, only the ranger and the blob will see me. So I can like prove it by taking a step out and then the, mo and the blob attacks me afterwards. So you can test things if you're not sure. Now there's a really nice solution for this. If you have like a really big stack, you can do this. And I hope the ranger will pull out. Or not. The ranger sometimes pulls out, but I think it's a bit close for that. So we can't do that, but it's worth testing again. So one way we can deal with this is to take a step out here. Either kill the blob or the ranger, or we can take a step out, pray range, and then run back over here and pray mage. So I'm going to do the cool solution, because it's really nice and it works well. We're just trying to get an off tick going. So we pray range. 
And then mage. And then we try and flick the two of them. Kill the bat. This is a bit tricky if you haven't done it before, but it works really well. If in doubt, just kill the blob and the ranger, no problem. This is the better solution. I'm always going to try and showcase, like, an easy solution and a better solution. Ignore the heal or the, uh, restore? The respawn? Let's go behind the pillar. And we just want to like let things settle to have a feel for how it's going. You won't get many stacks. Like c consider we're on wave 55. We have 10 waves left. If you have to spend like a few minutes per wave to deal with these like tricky ones, it's worth doing. Let's kill the blob. Let me just alternate it. Finish on range prey. One barrage, go to tank gear. Clean up with blowpipe. And then let's bow for the back because it's kind of far away and annoying, and then go for the ranger. Nice and easy. Uh, any retaliations, Mr. Ducky? Let's go back with tank gear on. One barrage. And then let's uh, pray range. Now the benefit, again, we don't have a south or a north pillar. If I stand here in the center, these NPCs shuffle over, and this blob now gets stuck on the pillar. If I stand here, this blob comes all the way down. So, I've got a ranger on me, and I've got two NPCs up here. I can go and attack the major and alternate the blobs. They don't exist, so let's do that. Nice, easy game. No fear of double blobs. Alternation is good. One more alternation cycle until the blob attacks. Pause, kill it. And then we just stand still. I'm doing a cheeky thing where I barrage the black blob as well. Bit of damage taken, no worries. And let's just let this blob attack and let him pull into us. Don't attack until he's like here, otherwise this happens. And then you get hit. So you can see it's not a great idea to do that. Anytime you rush things like this, you're always going to get pulled. Just give it time to settle. Now I'm 81 HP, let's barrage. If you want to conserve supplies, you can use brews if you fancy, I mean we've got a lot of them. If you're doing like a faster run or you want to, you know, not waste time doing this, that's fine, but this is meant to be first escape, so we barrage the full. You do trap them by standing still, you don't have to use any corners. Corner, corner trapping is bad. Okay, let I me mean, just stand still. Hands off, there's no south pillar, so it can't see me. Now this major is going to come around and see me, so we just stand still. I can probably hit this and I'm going to go for it. Great. So the entire wave was solved by not doing anything. Now I have to formulate a plan to deal with the melee, so how do I do that? I have an idea. Let's bring it around and start flicking it. And now I have control. So I used this idea before, and I'm just incorporating a range flick, that's all I'm doing. But this is like step two of how to deal with the melee in that position. And you can add layers of complexity. And now I have control. No damage, no taken, super easy flicks, simple setup. If you took a hit, no worries. Okay. 
Now we can deal with the melee. And we're going to give him control. I'm doing this for the duration of a uh, first Cape Friday. Sorry, see that. And now we kill to clean up. Nice and easy. Ducky never got his timeout. Gonna change it to Afzal? Oh, I mean, I could. I could, I could. Afzal, any last words? It's kind of hard to do during a run, I will say. Tank gear on, mage prey on. One barrage and chill. Let's corner trap the melee and prey range. If I'm too late, I can come to this tile instead, and the melee will have got kind of round the pillar, but not fully. And then let's just kill the melee. I will use Rigger, and I'll just flick Rigger, or I can flick up here. This is fine. Make it look easy? It is easy. Rigger off, both are on, deal with this nibbler. We're now on wave 58, so there's only a few left. And our north pillar is practically untouched. Which shows to show how easy it is to protect it. Very, very easy. The melee has been respawned and I have a bofa. I'm going to use rigor and kill it so it doesn't become a problem. Now we can go back on the major. There's 69 waves, of which 64 waves would be considered challenging. Maybe 65. Well, only 10 of those are really difficult, but... Yeah. And notice how I've barely been flicking at all and I have like infinity restores. Infinity restores. If I brought an Eldritch, I would just have a wasted slot. Died when your Tebow dragged you out of range on a red click on Zuck. Is there a reason why this happened? You were using Tebow outside of the Zuck safe spots and it kept happening throughout the kill. You have to... Uh, well, I'll show you when you get to Zuck, but there are, there are certain spots. These these tiles here in the center, these will drag you. You will die if you use these tiles. You cannot touch these tiles. Same goes on this side. These are the danger zone tiles. Anywhere else is completely fine. Um, and obviously you have to be behind the shield. So the shield is your priority, but these tiles are not ones you touch. You don't touch those tiles. You can do it if you know what you're doing, but it's like tricky. Now let's barrage the bat to get 99. Don't care how long it takes, I will do it. And at these waves, I need to be not afraid to use brew. I have a, I have seven brews. I need like one for Zuck. So we're not going to be very afraid at all. We're just going to brew if we need it. One barrage. Stand still. The Major can see me, and there's NPCs on the pillar. Uh, hmm. Let's go over here, pray melee, and move in. I gotta try and off take this. Blow bite specs, rigor. So that was a bit late. Not a good solution. If they merely digs, they're gonna go back around there. Let's brew. Now we can bring range. That was a bit of a rushed solution. I don't like that at all. Now we go back over here. So if you take a big hit or something, you make a mistake like that, you just have to try and go for a tick and then either you know you're in control or you're not in control and brew like fuck. Um, and we're going to use rigor to clean this up because we don't have a good position for the melee now. Now we can let it dig or we can go out here and just pray range and attack. But that's a wave where a lot of people will just die. Um, but don't be afraid to do a couple of things, like use your blood pipe specs, do brew, use rigor, pot up, whatever it takes. If you have to use supplies to get through waves, that's fine. The problem with that wave was, when I started here, the major was up here, and I took too long. What I had to do was run over here quickly, and if I do that, the major's corner trapped. So this is like a good gut reaction tile if you're not sure. Don't like always do it, but if you think there's something over here that you can trap, it's good. And that would have been much better. <clears throat> but if you ever die on a run because you ran out of supplies, that's fine. If you die on a run because you have like 10 brews left and you don't touch it, you fucked up. Rebarrage to full HP. And now we're into the uh, 60 on the next wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to use a dose of brew. 
A dose of restore and a bastion part to make my life easier. The brew to get me a bit over 99. Tank gear on. Restore up. Bastion part. And augury. One barrage. Chill. And I'm just going to kill this uh, melee. I'm going to bow for it to death and pray melee. I'm not even going to bother with the blob. Oh, it's dead. So that's the power of an off-task bofer while potted. Very strong. Okay, now I have a blob to deal with. Let's put my tank gear on and flick the blob and assess the situation. So for a standard pillar stack like this, you click the back NPC and you get dragged out from here to here with run on. So what I can do is I have two options. I can either do that and alternate, which is fine, or I can come over here, pray range, and come back here and pray mage. Like that. This is a really nice solution. Means I can two tick it instead of alternate it. Either solution is completely fine. If a melee comes up, I'll try put on rigor kill the major and then move behind North Pillar. Okay, rigor on. Just camp it, no need to flick. Finish with blow pipe, maybe. Back into the blob. And I'm not very fussed about the melee digging on me because the blob is just a blob. It doesn't matter much. Good barrage. Let's pray range and go across. The melee should actually end up over here. Take a step forward because it can come around the pillar. Let's kill the melee first because the ranger is a bit of a nicer blood bag. And uh, since I'm potted, let's use rigor. Let's get through these waves quicker to preserve my pot. Back we go. Augury on for these waves. Bit more defense and obviously tank here. Just chill. Kill the bat maybe, prey range. Take a step in so the major and stuff drags in properly. Uh, just take a second here. Let it all stack up. Put a prayer on just in case and then maybe go for these guys. You don't want to be dragged out and if you are then a hit's fine but not like a mage hit. Okay, so what do we do with this? Uh, looks like if the melee digs around, I'll have a triple stack and I can deal with that. There's a way to do it. So I'm going to let the melee drag around. I can even come over here and attack it for a bit. See if the ranger comes by. It doesn't. Okay, let's step back, right click to walk, and uh, kill the melee. I like to blow pipe it. Doesn't really make a difference. Going to restore again. Now, for this kind of stack, there's a specific movement. We want to start anywhere here, really is fine, but we need to step out to either of these two tiles. It can't be the bat safe spot, you have to run over to these tiles. So we're going to run over here, praying range for the back NPC, and then switch to mage, and we can alternate this. So rigor on, we step out. And you can look at these guys in the... look at these souls in guides, or we do raids or wherever. And we have rigor on the entire time. Ignore the melee. It's not moving. If it was coming around the pillar, I'd have to move back. But it's not. Just keep flicking. Try and catch the blob. I missed it. Okay, so now we have this setup. We can let the melee dig round, but I'm just going to come out and like flinch it so we can do an attack and come back. Let the blob attack you. And then eventually it will come round. Just trying to keep things fairly simple. I don't really recommend flinching. It's a bit slow and it wastes a lot of prayer. Uh, let's deal with the blob now and keep the ranger to last. Remember, rangers become more valuable the later they are. Whereas blobs are more valuable early. Couple of barrages, back into our prop again. Clean up with rigor, maybe. Got loads of prayer now. And we are on wave 62 and 63. My range level has gone down a bit, so what I'm going to do is actually just barrage the fill again. And we're going to burn supplies to get through these waves in a really clear and easy fashion. So I've got 53 prayer. 30 uh, seconds on my thing, so let's brew. Super restore. And use another dose of Bastion. Augury on. We're like hella kitted right now. One barrage. Let's corner trap the blob. 
I did it early enough this time that it's not a problem, and now we kill the range. Okay, now, now we kill the melee. After this, we kill the bat, or we can even kill the bat now before it gets to us. Just kill all of these things. No need to keep them alive. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Now there's a bat here, which means the ranger can't get to us. Let's start flicking this blob as we come out. So if I stand here, I can flick the major on the blob. The bat is stuck. Or the ranger is stuck. Every spawn is humble if you make it humble, yep. I'm just not panicking and making slow movements. Flick the blob until it attacks me, chill. Take off Rigor, deal with the bat. Take a step up maybe so I don't have to deal with the blob anymore and deal with the ranger instead. There are no hard spawns. There are there are spawns that players make difficult for themselves. There's, prob there's probably like three or four difficult spawns. Not many. And there are just a few spawns where you will die if you're a learner. There are just a few, but not many. Focus on two tick alternation over one tick. No, one tick is much better. You want to do one tick. Augury on now for these waves. One barrage. And corner trap this blob. I've got time to do it now, so I'm going to try and do it. Now I can deal with the melee. Same thing again. Identical position. Now I can deal with the uh, blob. And pray mage here. Now let's just go kill the major. It's literally just the major. This blob is stuck on it, you can see. So now it's just a like clean wave. So spoon. And it would not have been spoon if I panicked or moved in a weird place or let the blob pass or I didn't like go about killing it properly or didn't start on full HP. So all I'm doing is I'm making it as easy as possible with the resources I have. It was an easy wave, but like there are, again, there aren't many hard waves. And at this point, I have seven restores. I'm not going to flick for the rest of the run. I, I barely flicked anyway, but I'm not going to flick for the rest of the run. Melee respawned? Whatever. Maybe blowpipe the major. I'm going to kill this blob now. I'll let these guys slide in or do whatever they want to. Tank gear on. A bit like peeking. And now we can come out and kill the, uh, the melee. Guy's dead. Let's pray range. Wait for these guys to move. And just set up a cycle. Motivating and disheartening. Yeah. That's fair. Wait for the blob to attack behind the pillar. Should just ice barrage here, really, on full HP. Get ready to pray mage in case it lives. It does not. We go back. Tank your run. All green. One barrage. Got a flick melee. But if you stand here, it's already flickable. So from this position, you have an auto off tick if you stay still. Now, what I can do... Actually, I'll just kill it. Keep it simple. I can come and stand here if I want to. And I can do that because the melee isn't like blocking me from going there, so what I can do is I can go over here to drag the major in, and then attack it and the melee is still on me. Now I want to set up something for the melee. What I'm going to do is off tick these two. I'm going to take a step out, and this sets up another melee off tick if I want it. If in doubt, I just run back here. Or here. Rigor on to kill it faster. Let's use the spot I just set up. Major's there. Now let's pre range. Now when this guy digs, I come back here instead. Because I gave myself time. And I used Rigor to kill him. If I didn't use Rigor, maybe it would have been a bit worse. And now these guys are both safe spotted. Nice and easy kills. Oh, 
after this run, we're going to do a Tebow run. Oh, I took my prayer off. I do get hit, so let's take a step back and burn. Uh, this is why you uh, try to manually cast. We just stay still, pray range. We tanked it, so that's fine. Let's go kill this guy. Don't have Blowpipe, 1.7k Zora in. Do you send Inferno or stick it out at Zora? Um, Blowpipe is very good. If you have a Bofer, it's not needed, but it will help a great amount. So, probably stick it out, yeah. And before I do anything, 99 HP. Notice that for the entire run, I've been very careful to actually reserve my uh, low fight specs. I think I used two in the entire run. And if there were worse scenarios or like scary scenarios, then I could use it. But as it stands, there weren't really many. For a lot of these uh, later bits, now we have six brews, so we're going to use a ton of brew to get through it if needed. Things like triples we will brew up and uh, restore up and all that good stuff. And look how healthy our north pillar is with minimal help. We barely did anything to help it out and it was fine. Now it's double major so we can chill. Barrage and uh, kill. And don't be afraid. Two majors. No need to hide. <sighs> We can drag that one in. It's about all we have to do. I'm just run away praying mage. Get them a bit closer so it's easier to attack them together. Stand in between them. First Jad spawns around here. And uh, again, this amount of restores is like complete overkill. So clearly no need for any Eldritch or SGS or whatever. Oh, it doesn't respawn. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> No biggie if it does, just throw on rigor. The tile markers are not useful and I did not use them throughout the entire run. The only tile marker you need as a learner is this one. And maybe the Zuck ones. You need five tile markers, that's it. But as a learner you really don't need many. Th this one is useful because like a lot of the time you can't see this side of the pillar, like without it. So that one's useful too, so maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six markers is all you really need. The others are for speedruns, you don't need this for normals. So, the dreads. We brew. We restore. Preserve now on. And Bastion Pot. Uh, what we want to do is we want to stand here. One tile away from its northwest corner. And we stay here for the entire thing. Both of it makes it really easy to tag stuff as well. And we have rigor on the entire time. Just don't take it off. Okay, now we can send a barrage on these guys, maybe? The ones furthest to the south first. Go for this guy, blow fight this guy, get my prayers right. And if you want to flick a little bit of melee here, you can do. And then just linger on a lot of jab hits. And then back to melee. And just get as many melee hits as you can in. By standing on this tile, we're already like preventing most of them from getting to us, so it's kind of chill. A little bit of damage is not a problem either. How you flick chat is really dependent on like how you do it. It's a one tick, three ticks after he attacks, or on the third tick, I think. It's that, that's the timing. I don't know if it's like easy to remember. 
Okay, triples, we do the same thing. We come roughly to the center. You don't need a triples tile marker. Pray range to begin with. Attack it and then stand here. One tile away from its north side. You want to have visibility on all of the jets. And you want to have visibility on the healers when they come in as well. If you took hits, maybe brew back up. We're gonna take our time and then just go attack the healers one by one. No reason to rush. Now when you have multiple healers attacking you, what you do is you take a step north like this. And then they get kind of stuck on each other. Very little problems with healers if you just step north. And Bofa is very good here. Make sure it's dead, then we're going to flip and come all the way up here. I'm going to go kill this gen from this tile here. I don't know why I can't ping actually right now. Where'd my ping go? Weird. I can't seem to ping a tile and I don't know why. Anyway, we stand here. Oh, there we go, what the fuck? It all came in at once, weird. We want to have visibility on both triads again. And we're going to use even more Restore. Let's uh, barrage the center one here. Try a little bit of melee if you want to. After they both attack, treat this guy as like a jail and just flick him. Yeah, it's hard to treat. It's hard. It's hard to teach triples because it's just nerves, really. Okay, same position as before. One tile away on the northwest side. And we're gonna go into Zuck with over four restores with practically zero flicking and a ton of rigor usage. Much easier when you're not going for cape. True. How can you reduce nerves? Where's the copy pasta? Experience helps a lot for sure. The more you know about a bit of content and the more you do it, the more experience you have, the less nerves you'll have because you're like. You'll have done it more times, I guess, so. More attempts helps a lot. When you reduce it to like the core fundamentals of how to really do Inferno, it's not very difficult. But the best source of like denerving is probably just knowledge of how to solve waves. Let's go for a barrage here. And then I'll use a dose of broom, dose of restore, maybe a bastion, and have rigor on when we start. I'll even have preserve on, got enough prone. And all we do is we right click him, depending on if he goes left or right, we follow the shield. We follow the shield. And uh, stem, we can stem whenever we want, we have an infinite stem. Once he attacks, you can go to the next safe spot. If you attack from here, if you attack from these tiles, you get dragged in. And we just keep attacking. One in the center and keep moving. Wait for the attack. And you can just move directly, stem early. When the ranger comes out, we're going to double spec it. You can get dragged like this. It's a bit scary, but it's fine. You want to try and control your character very specifically when doing this. Blow pipe on. Two specs. Try and get as much damage into it as possible. When we blow pipe walk to the next safe spot, wait here for a second, and then we keep going. About here, you'd have to start bowfering. And then we on the major for a one tack. You can do it with bofa. And then back on Zerg. And we see our shield is like completely fine. 
Close the super restore and keep going. He attacked it so I can run. And the idea now is we get him below 600 HP. Want to make sure we have Rigor on permanently during the fight. We have an infinite prayer. And we're always going to be staying on the shield, leading edge of the shield. Getting him straight below 600. DPS is pretty good right now, but it is a Bofa cape, so it should be very consistent. There's the attack, I can move. A couple more hits will be below 600. Maybe one more. That might be it. I'll attack him one more time. There's 598, so now we attack the major. Let's right click it for safety. Another dose of restore. We have infinite supplies right now. If you ever take a hit or make a mistake, just uh, use it all up. 600 is the set timer pause, so the set timer is, well, paused. And we're just going to go send Jed and then proc healers. <clears throat> Back on Zuck. Once we get to 109 range or so, I'll consider repotting, but for now it's fine. Want to have a bit in case healers go badly. Another dose of stem, we got loads. Jad is about to spawn here. Let's attack it. And turn our camera. We still gotta wait to see this attack come out. And then we can move. Keep our prayer book open. Wait for the attack. I'm attack him from these tiles, actually. And both of can reach him from here, which is good. There's the healers. I'm gonna barrage the middle one to get all of them. Another dose of restore. And we just ignore healers, wait for the attack to come out. We don't get ahead of ourselves, don't move like ahead here. After Jad is done and we've been molested by healers, we'll consider re uh, brewing. A lot of major attacks. Might be dead. Good. Let's brew. Restore. And uh, keeping our prayers on the entire time. Now we're going to try and proc healers. So we want to try and do it from the side. So maybe next rotation if I'm lucky. And then after healers proc, we have to stay very, very closely with the shield. Very closely. So 240 is the threshold. We're at 311. Got to be a bit careful now. And we want to try and proc it here. Any time now is good. There they are. Now blow pipe and we stay with the shield. Both are on to tag the far one. Just walking a little bit here and in with the shield. And if we want to blow pipe spec, we can blow pipe spec. Pray that off. If in doubt, right click them like this. Move, attack, right click, attack, right click. Come to the very edge. Two attacks and then back. Next one. Stay really closely with the shield. Walk in a little bit with it. Just like super monitoring, nice and zoomed in. My HP is completely fine. Right click here for safety. And this is fine here, maybe even blowpipe spec for uh, double measures. Okay, as soon as they die, I'm brute to full. And stay with the shield. Don't stop attacking, 115. I'm just waiting one second for my uh, tick down to go. This is a safe tile here. The edges are always safe. And we just kill Zuck, there will be nothing else occurring. So we just walk with the shield, nice and zoomed in. Click Zuck very carefully, give our mouse time to react. If you rush it, you can yellow click. So you just want to walk things like that. Right click always if you can do. And you should not redemption. Redemption is really bad and you should never use it unless you have no bruise. If you have no bruise, redemption is fine. The reason why redemption is bad is because if you get to low HP, firstly, healers can just kill you through redemption. So it's not guaranteed. And it's actually fairly likely. And secondly, the problem with it is that it forces you to be low HP, which is not a good thing for learners. You want to be high HP. If you're low, just brew. If you get to 60 HP, just brew. And that way you'll never be low. And if you're never low, the game should be really easy because you're not stressed, there's nothing to worry about, you can't be killed by anything. So redemption is incredibly bad. First cape in hour and a half with a fair amount of teaching.
Nothing too crazy about it, nice and simple. Next one is going to be the Tebow Cape, where I'm going to not describe any of the basics. I'm just going to do the run and like describe it as I go on. So if you have max main gear and you want to go for Infernal, this is the run to watch. 